Hi, thank you for choosing to watch this. This is part seven in a new and ongoing series that I'm doing, which is looking at how we can renew our deceived mind with the word of God. So what I'm going to be sharing shortly is a number of different scriptures from the Holy Bible. So what does the Holy Bible, the inspired word of God, what does it tell us about peace? because you deserve to live with true inner peace. No matter what you have been through in your life before, no matter what your life experience is, no matter what battles you have had with your mind, when you come into the truth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that through him, through receiving Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, that our sins can be forgiven, we can repent for our sins, and we can come to a place of experiencing and living in the peace of God, which surpasses all our understanding, which will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Maybe at this moment in your life, the peace or the lack of inner peace that you have has probably got worse and worse and worse, likely in this last nine months. Maybe up until that point, you live your life feeling quite stable, quite happy, quite peaceful, and just enjoying your life. But then with events and, and decisions made, and the way in which humanity is at the moment, and how it has been over this last nine months, maybe your previous state of peace has been, has been broken, has been turned upside down and maybe you are yearning to get back to a place of inner peace. Maybe you're a Christian, someone that believes in God, but maybe you have not been experiencing true inner peace and maybe you have been questioning whether God is truly for you, does he really love you? Well, my prayer for anyone that's watching this is through hearing the word of God whilst the Holy Spirit is upon you, these won't just be words, these will be the inspired words of God from the Holy Bible, and these will be, or some of the words that I share from the Holy Bible, will do something inside of you to help start transforming your heart, your mind, and renewing your thoughts through the inspired word of God. Thank you for choosing to watch this. I'm going to be using, once again, as I have done on all previous six sessions, the YouVersion Bible app. It's a free app. I can't recommend it highly enough. It's got the whole Bible on there, but what it also has is a search facility. So you can search for any thought or emotion, either that you are feeling at the moment that you don't want to feel. So it could be anger, it could be sadness, it could be anxiety, it could be fear any negative emotion that is suffocating you in any way or is affecting your life in any way you can search within the app and it will present back to you scriptures from the bible about that word and when we are at such a place where we where we're open to receiving the word of god when the holy spirit is is working upon us and is coming upon us the words of the bible aren't just words in a book they are the inspired words of God that can transform and change our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. So I'm going to be using the search feature, but maybe you can use this search feature yourself if you choose to get the U version app. You can use it yourself to search for words that you have things that you want to experience more of. So you may want to experience more joy in your life. Maybe you have felt the joy within you has been taken away from you, maybe even stolen in this last nine months. You might want to experience more love, love for yourself, love for your family, love for other people. You might want to experience more forgiveness. You might be battling with unforgiveness because of what people have said or done to you in the past or maybe in this last nine months. Maybe you are carrying a heavy heart where you, where, you are, where you are 
held captive almost to things in your past, people, situations, circumstances that has harmed you, that has hurt you. You deserve to live with true inner peace. Myself, I battled for 25 years, yearning for true inner peace, battling with my mind. And that battle took me into places of reading books, such as The Chimp Paradox and The Power of Now. It took me over about six or seven years into one-to-one -one therapy and then into hypnotherapy. It took me into things like mindfulness and the Calm app. And I tried all these different things, all that should be helping to renew our mind and to, and to set us free from the past. And none of those things at all gave me true inner peace because true inner peace only comes from our Father in heaven, from the almighty God the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, our Creator. Our help comes from the Maker of the heavens and the earth. He formed you and He formed me in our mother's womb. He knitted us together. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. He has even numbered every hair on our head. Our Father in heaven knows when we stand up and when we sit down. He has plans for our life, plans for good and not for disaster to give us a future and a hope. And when we receive Jesus as our Lord and Saviour, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, then we experience the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, which guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And if you're not yet in that place of living with the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, I just pray that as I'm going through and as I'm reading scriptures, I pray that the Holy Spirit is upon you and that the, the, the words, the inspired words of God do something incredible inside of you to bring you back to or bring you into a place of true inner peace. We all deserve this. We all deserve this. God bless you. <clears throat> Philippians 4 verse 6 Don't worry about anything Instead, pray about everything Tell God what you need And thank him for all that he has done Then you will experience God's peace Which exceeds anything we can understand His peace will guard your hearts and minds As you live in Christ Jesus. And continuing, Philippians 4 verse 8. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honourable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all that you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. One Peter five verse seven. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. John 16, verse 33. This is Jesus speaking. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Two Thessalonians 3, verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times and in every situation. The Lord be with you all.
Isaiah 26 verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. John 14, 26, the words of Jesus again. But when the Father sends the advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. John 14, 27, once again, the words of Jesus. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Matthew 5, verse 9. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. Colossians 3, verse 15. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts, for as members of one body you are called to live in peace, and always be thankful. Isaiah 9, verse 6. Praise God. The prophecy about Jesus. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Psalms 4, verse 8. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. Romans 15, verse 13. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Philippians 4 verse 9. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Hebrews 12 verse 14. Work at living in peace with everyone and work at living a holy life for those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Isaiah 32 verse 17. And this righteousness will bring peace. Yes, it will bring quietness and confidence forever. Isaiah 26 verse 4. Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. Hallelujah. Numbers 6, verse 26. May the Lord show you his favour and give you his peace. James 3, verse 18. And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. Number six, verse 25. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. Romans 8, verse 6. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death, but letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. Peace. 
Romans 12 verse 18. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Matthew 11 verse 28. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Galatians 5 verse 22. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. There is no law against these things. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Let us not become conceited or provoke one another or be jealous of one another. Number six, verse 24. May the Lord bless you and protect you. James 3, verse 17. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace loving, gentle at all times and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. And then finally, so I'm on the Bible app. I've searched for peace. I'm currently looking at all the Bible scriptures of which there are too many for me to continue reading for this video. But what you can do, if you click images, you get images of some of the most life-changing scriptures from the Holy Bible. And these images, if you find one, Maybe it could be Matthew 11, 28, 29, because right now you are weary and you are burdened and you need rest. And his word tells us, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened and find rest in him. And if you like that image, you can click the image. You can save the image to your app, but more importantly, and what I use all the time, you can click share and that will allow you to save the image to your phone you can save it then as your screensaver. You could print it out or you could send that image of that scripture to a family member, to a friend. You could share it on Facebook. You could share it on Messenger or WhatsApp. You could share with people who you know who may just right now need to hear the truth from the Word of God, from the Holy Bible. And I'm just going to finish on this one. Philippians 4, 7. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I pray that for you, you have experienced something quite beautiful as you've been hearing the word of God, because every single one of us need to continue renewing our deceived mind through the word of God. His word leads to peace, to true inner peace, something that you may well have been searching for and longing for for many, many, many years in your entire life. And I can testify that the peace of God which surpasses all understanding does surpass all understanding. And I just give God all the glory for you, for your life, for planning. He planned for you to be listening to these words right now before the beginning of time. This is one of the profound truths of our Father, the Almighty God. And I just pray that you will come into the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. God bless you and protect you. Agape, Paul.